Hi everybody, we're back in my garage here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about binary numbers and where they come from. So you've probably all heard about how computers work and all binary numbers. Everything in the computer is ones and zeros. So I wanted to kind of show you a little bit where those ones and zeros come from. Everything inside your computer is basically just a bunch of switches. So there are switches that have two positions, on and off, one or zero. So um, I can use this light to kind of demonstrate how each of these switches works. So if we have a zero, the light's off. If we have a one, the light's on. Pretty simple, right? So with just this single light here, I can uh, give you one of two responses to any question you might ask. So you might ask me something like, you know, uh, was George Washington the first president of the United States? True. Or you might ask me something like, um, is Hawaii the 51st state in the United States? Well, that's false. So the light's off. So on is true, off is false. So we have a binary system here. That's why they're called binary numbers, because our system works with either on or off. So off is zero, on is one. And we can use that to actually build and calculate numbers. So starting with just this light, we have a zero. Now we have a one. So I've got one light, two possibilities. Let's say I add another light to the system here. Okay, so now I can start counting here. We have zero, we have one. We have two, we have three. So zero, one, two, and three. That gave us four possibilities. So with one light, we had two possibilities. Two lights, we had four possibilities. Let's add another light. Now we have a third light. How many possibilities do you think we're going to have now? Well, let's find out. So we have zero. We have one. We have two. We have three. We have four. We have five. Six. And seven. So that's zero through seven. That's eight possibilities. What if we add another light? How many do you think we're going to have now? I'll tell you, we're going to have 16. So each time you add a light to this system, you multiply the number of possibilities by two. So with one light, we have two possibilities. Two lights, it's four possibilities. Add another light, eight possibilities. Add another one, we're going to double it again. We're going to have 16 possibilities. So let's go through it. We have zero. We have one. We have two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that's 0 through 15. That's 16 possibilities. I've run out of flashlights, but if I add another one here, we're going to have 32 possibilities. I add another one, we're going to have 64 possibilities. I add another one, 128 possibilities. So each time you add a light, you double the number of possibilities available. So binary numbers are set up in powers of two based on how many switches you have available. Inside your computer, you have many switches available, way more than five, way more than 10. You have hundreds, thousands of switches available in there. So you can have a whole large number of combinations of ons and offs available inside your computer.